teaching and learning with Mr. Miller. Hey guys, today we're going to be making a movie trailer in Premiere. Um, now I'm going to make this template and I'm going to upload it to my Google Drive. So you can download it from my Google Drive. The link will be in the description. And I'll also link you to some other assets that might prove useful for your movie trailer from some third party uh, websites. Ones that I think are quite useful. Over the years I've collected quite a few. So um, I can show you which ones I've been using. But, you know, feel free to put any more in there that you might need. I'm going to move quite quickly through this uh, because I don't want to create a really long video and chances are you don't want to watch through that video. Um, I have got another series of videos on how to set up a Premiere Pro project and how to edit and how to export. Um, so watch those if you need to or you just watch this video and just pause it every time I do something new. So I'm going to go to new project. I'm going to choose where I'm going to save it. Now I'm going to save it to my Google Drive. I've got a teaching and learning folder that I've been creating over the last like 15 years. And I've got a folder here called templates. I'm going to save it in here. This is where you'll be downloading it from. And I've already got a folder ready to go. And you can see I've got some folders in there as well for some assets. I'll probably have to delete those later though because they're not actually mine. So let's call this movie trailer template. Uh, let's spell that correctly. Um, I've got it saved in the right location. All of these things I know are okay. So I'm just going to quick click okay. My Premiere is going to open up. It might look a little bit different to yours because I've got a saved layout. Um, but it will do the same thing. You don't need to worry about that. Um, I'm going to create a new sequence. So that's file, new sequence. I always use ABCHD at the top. I'm going to go for 1080p and I'm going to go for 24 frames a second instead of any of the others. Um, even though people like 30 and 50 and even get up to 60. 24 is actually the old school cinema way. And I want this to look like a film, you know, like a classic movie. So here we go. This is everything I've got at the moment. Uh, I've got my presets. Um, in there already uh, you won't have all of these different ones but you can download those as you need to i'll show you how to do that in another video first thing i'm gonna need to do though is i'm gonna need to get some footage and i'm not sure exactly what footage to get so this would be my recommendation the first thing i would do if i was you is i would actually check a movie trailer i found this one for last night in soho which is just about to be released from edgar wright now you probably can't hear um, exactly what's happening and i've turned the sound down as well but there is a little bit of ambient sound there um, so what I'm going to do first is I'm going to create an ambient soundtrack. Now, luckily for you, I've actually put these in the um, in the same folder. So you could probably download those. If they aren't there, it's because I haven't been able to upload them for copyright reasons. You can download them yourself from somewhere else. And like I said, that link will be in the description. So uh, ambient sound pack. And while I'm there, I'm going um, to I'm going to import these things as well. The movie trailer sound pack. Can't even remember where I got that from. But I'll find something and I'll put it in there. And there you go, you've got all those things in there. Now, I'm going to have a thunderstorm because that's what they had. And I know that's there. So I'm going to drag that onto audio 2. And now I've got the nice sound of a thunderstorm. That's how I want to start my trailer. And we've got some nice kind of random footage there. I'm guessing that's got something to do with the actual film. So I'm going to go onto Pexels. I've been here before. You've seen me go on here before. And I'm going to get some footage. And I'm going to get some nice footage that I think might work with this movie trailer. Um, let's go for Thunderstorm, shall we? Thunderstorm. And let's just see what I find. I'm guessing I'm going to find a lot of stuff on that. There we go. That looks like some nice footage. Doesn't matter if it's not nice footage. Because I'm just doing a practice one here. There you go. That looks like a movie trade to me. Right now, as you can see, that folder, sorry, that download is going to go into my downloads folder. My recommendation would be take it out of the downloads folder and put it somewhere else. I delete my downloads folder or I clear my downloads folder quite often. If I've got all my assets saved there and I clear it, it's going to get deleted from here as well. Okay, so you're going to want to make sure that you're moving over quite regularly. So first thing I've got then is I've got my um, I've got my uh, thunderstorm sound effect. I've got some footage which is just downloading now. What's the next thing that happens? If I remember rightly, and you can see I've kind of got it prepared already. I've got there you go. I've got the ident there. I've got the logo. Now I'm going to go for Warner Brothers, okay? And I want to put this on a black background. So I really need a white Warner Brothers logo. Does that work? Maybe that'll work. Maybe I can find a better one. There you go. That seems to work. How, what size is that? There we go, that's a huge one there. So I'm gonna download that. So uh, let's go to save image as. I'm gonna save this into my downloads folder, same as I save the other stuff. 
call this WB for Warner Brothers, and you'll see that'll be in there as well. My videos downloaded, let's just drag those into the same folder. Sort that by name. There we go, and now I can bring this in. Double click there at the bottom to import or file import if you need to. Bring those two things in. There we go, and you can see I've got my footage there. So I'm gonna drag my footage. Now you're probably wondering earlier, why has he put um, the thunderstorm on uh, audio two? It's because I knew that the sound from audio one was gonna be there. I actually don't want that. So I'm just gonna click up and delete it. There you go. So command Z there. You could unlink it, right click unlink, or you could just drag it up and do that as you need to. Now that footage looks a little bit zoomed in. It's probably because it's 4K or yeah, probably 4K. So I'm gonna go to scale to frame size. There we go, and now I've got that. There you go, I've got the sound of a thunderstorm. Oh, it actually changes footage there. So that's good. So I've actually got some things changing. There we go, that works. Then I'm gonna bring my Warner Brothers logo in and it's gonna look something like that. That works quite nicely. Little tip for you here, if you click on the footage, there you go, and you grab your playhead, you can move it to the beginning. We're gonna animate by clicking on this stopwatch and I'm gonna turn that to 80. No, I'm not, I'm gonna leave it at 100. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drag it to the end and then I'm gonna make that 105. And now what it does is it will just zoom in a little bit, really slowly. If it plays. There you go, it's a bit jumpy at the moment because it's not rendered, but that's fine. Right, how many seconds do I have on that trailer? Right, three seconds before it showed me the uh, ident. So that's what I need to do. I need to have three seconds of this. That's right, guys. I'm looking at what other people have done and I'm copying it exactly. The reason I'm copying it exactly is because these guys are professionals. They know what they're doing. So why would I even try and do it any differently? So now, with the sound of my thunderstorm in the background, my footage. There you go. How long does it show that for? So she got two idents and like less than a second. I'll keep it for a couple of seconds though. And then I can have some other footage. <clears throat> so the idea is you just keep lowering, layering up footage. Now, obviously for your projects, you're gonna use your own footage, um, but you can use this sort of stuff as a placeholder. So get some footage that someone else has made, put it in there, film your own footage and then replace it with it. Um, or hey, if you wanna do your own, um, if you wanna do your own, kind of practice, then yeah, just use this anyway. If it's just for like a piece of coursework or something, that's perfectly fine. Right, is that downloaded? Oh, that downloaded quite quickly. That's nice. I think it's downloaded. Oops. There we go. And I'm gonna bring that piece of footage in there as well. Was it that one? There we go, chuck that up there. Don't wanna delete my other footage. And bring that there. Unlink. Delete the audio, and there we go. So I've got my first bit of footage. Then I've got my next bit of footage. Looks like I've brought the same one in twice. Well done. There we go, it's that one, wasn't it? I brought the wrong one in. Let's try that again. Unlink the audio, delete the audio, because I only want that. Now I'm going to put some music on there as well, and you can get music from anywhere. And there we go. So now it looks like that. Now, obviously, you're going to do that with loads of footage. These are just establishing shots. You would go for footage that is a little bit more exciting as the movie trailer goes on. You can also get some of these movie trailer sounds. Obviously you can't hear these, but these, these sound quite good. Just layer up. Sound should be like the wall of sound. The more sound you've got, the better it's gonna sound. The better it's gonna look, the better it's gonna feel. Right then, so now what we need to do is we need to make this look a little bit more cinematic. So what I'm gonna do is to turn the volume down because it's hurt my ears there. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna add some overlays to it. So I'm now gonna go to, and by the way, you're probably looking at this thinking, shouldn't you really have folders to keep this all clean? Yep, you're right, I absolutely should do. Um, so um, I should be creating bins as we go. 
and I should call that footage. And I will obviously arrange that in a neater, tidier way for when you start doing it. And when you download it, you'll probably find that I've created loads of these nice little folders for you there. So let's create a new folder there. Gonna call that overlays. Now overlays are exactly as they sound, things that you use to overlay or things that you lay over the footage. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna highlight that folder and I'm gonna to go to File, New, Adjustment Layer. If you can't click on Adjustment Layer, it's because you're not clicked over here. You probably clicked over here. So File, New, Adjustment Layer. Now an Adjustment Layer is an empty layer. If you put that at the top, it's got nothing on it. So everything you do to it will affect what's below it. At the moment, there's nothing. Now the first thing I'm gonna to do to it is I'm gonna create some widescreen bars because this is cinema, okay? And it should really look like it's from the cinema. If I type in crop there, you'll see I'll get video effects transform crop. Chuck that on there, go to the effects control. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna crop it from the top 12%, from the bottom 12%, okay? And there you go, that's what's happened there. So click the eye, that's what it looked like. Turn the eye on, there you go, that's what it looks like now. I'm also gonna create a little bit more of a cinematic feel. Hmm, don't actually like how zoomed in that is. Oh, I would change that anyway. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna to go to color and I'm gonna change some of these things. Now you can do color correction on each individual shot if you want to, but what I wanna do is I just wanna raise, uh, well, first off, I'm gonna put a vignette on it, okay? Minus two. Now a vignette, you're probably not even gonna notice much difference. That's what it did look like. That's what it looked like. That's what it looks like now. So it's got this vignette going around it. Just makes it look a little bit more cinematic. There's also other things as well you can do. You can make it faded, which some people don't like but it kind of makes it look a little bit more old school, cinematic, if you wanted to. You could have some film grain and stuff like that. I'm gonna fade mine a little bit. Let's fade it by five, just because I kind of like that old cinematic feel. I'm gonna go uh, back to, like I said, you can change these things here, but I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna go back to editing, and I'm gonna type in here, grain, can I get film grain? Here we go, noise and grain. Was it dust and scratches? Let's go for dust and scratches. That's gonna make it look a little bit more cinematic. Now it's not gonna play very well now. And I know you're probably thinking, why would I wanna put dust and scratches on my um, film to make it look worse? Well, that's how film looks, isn't it? You know, it's only in recent years that they've actually tried to make cinema look really good. You know, for the last hundred years, cinema has been, you know, 24 frames a second. It has been quite scratchy, it has been quite grainy. I mean, if you're watching your next YouTube video from your blogger, yeah, it's going to be in 60 frames a second and 4K, but cinema's not always like that. Making it look, I don't know, worse is actually a, a good tip and a good technique. Right, there's other things I've got as well there as well. So I'm going to go to overlays, uh, highlight that. And you've probably seen I've got these uh, volumetric light things here as well. Um, I think I've got the same one in there twice. There we go. So uh, let's bring in that uh, volumetric light because as you probably saw in this movie trailer, and by the way, you would do this, you would watch the entire trailer, okay? If you're making a trailer, it needs to be two minutes 26. Reason being is because this one is two minutes 26. If you want it to be longer, that's fine, but you've got to find a movie trailer that is longer. If you want it to be shorter, you've got to find a movie trailer that's shorter. Now, I really like the way it opens with those curtains and that light. And we can actually do something quite similar to that. So if I get that volumetric light, what have we got there? Double click on it to have a look. There we go, that looks nice. If I put that over there, get rid of that audio that volumetric light kind of goes like that now you can't see anything underneath it unfortunately reason being is because it's on top so what i want to do is i want to do that i want to go to opacity and i want to turn that down to blend mode screen and you should see everything beneath it there you go um you know what i'm going to change the opacity down to 50 as well because i still think it's a little bit strong so now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to just make it over the actual thing. I don't want to go over the whole thing. So it's just gonna go over that Warner Brothers thing. So now it should, and it's hopefully it'll play, but. Yeah, you can go, you can see what's gonna, big jumpy, cause it's not rendered. Let me go this quick little tip. And what I would do is I would do that for the entire thing. Okay. Now watch the trailer, see how it does, see what it does. Now you're gonna see that it's gonna have certain text appear as it goes on. There you go, see, you know. You know, was it Edgar Wright's invites you on a journey? Yeah, Edgar Wright, director of Baby Driver, invites you on a journey. Okay, then we can start putting text in there as well. So what we will do 
is we will create a new folder, call that text or titles. We're going to go to file, new, legacy title, and we'll call it title one. Sounds good. Now, if you don't know what to write, copy another trailer. Now, I'm pretty sure um, it, when you get a trailer, you get the studio first. So I'm going to put Warner Bros presents if you don't know what it looks like now i've made i've watched enough movie trailers and movies that i know off by heart but if you don't know what it looks like copy okay it's great to be creative but try and make it look a little bit professional by copying the professionals so what i'm going to do is i'm going to get a pretty simple font because that's what we uh, that's what the movie traders use they don't usually go for complicated things let's just go for helvetica oh man uh let's go for bold yeah, that works. Okay, there we go. And there's my first title. Now I can move it around as I need to. You can kind of like work out where the middle is. You know, that looks like the middle to me. There you go. Good enough. Let's close that down. And there it is, title one. So now what you do is you put title one there. And it goes, you know, Warner Brothers there when it loads. And then as it goes on to the next piece of footage, it'll then say Warner Brothers Presents. And what I would do is I'd make that black. There's an easy way of doing that. You just cut there, you cut there, delete that bit, and there you go. And it should be black. So then it'll go Warner Brothers Presents. And bam. And you'd have another bit of footage there, and you'll keep changing. The best thing about movie trailers is it it's almost seemingly random bits of footage just all thrown together. And as you throw that ran, those random bits of footage together, it kind of creates a, a narrative, but it also creates an enigma. So if your movie trailer is a little bit confusing, that's actually kind of a good thing because it means that you could pull it, you know, pass it off as a Enigma code. <clears throat> so yeah, give that a go. Right, I don't think there's anything else that we really need to give there. Um, you can play around with that as you need to. I will set up the, the thing, uh, the, the template. You can download that via the download link in the description. Um, and I'll also try and link you up to some of these things that you can download if you want to. Good luck. See you next time.